If a predator is scavenger-oriented meaning, it prefers its meal's lifeless thanatosis can backfire catastrophically, giving it exactly what it wants. This is where instinct must calculate the threat. The animal must somehow sense whether the predator is motion-driven or decay-tolerant. This split-second assessment is what separates survival from being lunch. Young animals often learn this behavior not through experience but through pure instinct. They don't rehearse it. They don't watch adults do it. They're simply born with the script embedded in their DNA. It's a hardwired defense mechanism, triggered automatically when fear spikes. The body shuts down non-essential functions and prepares for a performance that could save its life. Researchers have studied this phenomenon in laboratory settings, triggering thanatosis in rodents and reptiles to measure its effectiveness. The results are clear. Predators hesitate longer and attack less frequently when prey appears dead. But here's what's more fascinating. Thanatosis also affects the prey's brain chemistry. Heart rate drops dramatically. Breathing slows to near invisible levels. The body mimics death on a physiological level, not just behavioral. Why is this so important in modern ecosystems? Because many environments are more dangerous than ever. Urban sprawl, deforestation, and human presence have introduced new predators, including domestic pets and vehicles. Animals playing dead may avoid a cat's claws or a dog's bite, and in rare cases, even confuse a human long enough to escape. Nature's old tricks are being used in new battlegrounds. It's also a fascinating psychological aspect of thanatosis. It's not unlike what humans experience during extreme trauma, 